It's arrived, let's have a look inside. 250 baby. Decided to get the vest instead of the t-shirt. I really like it. I'm, I'm like overly proud of having achieved this finally. I've always been a runner of sorts, but it was always sporadic, no real structure to any training. And I never entered any races until 2010, when I entered the Sainsbury's Sport Relief 10K. During my training for that event, I discovered an app on my phone called Runkeeper, and it gave me lots of interesting, exciting stats and enabled me to track my route. And that got me interested. And after I'd finished the Sainsbury's 10K, I carried on running a little bit more regularly, but still with no structure or plan or end goal. Then in 2011, I was at a friend's house and he'd just come back from a run. I asked where he'd been and he told me all about this event called Park Run. So the week after, I was there on the start line of Brighton and Hove Park Run for my very first Park Run and I haven't looked back. Parkrun gave me a focus and a structure to my training. Every week I could see improvements and eventually I started to add in a few more runs during the week as well. By the end of 2011 I had run my very first half marathon in Bristol and I'd already signed up for my very first marathon which was to take place in 2012 in Paris. I was well and truly hooked on the running bug. Some 13 years later now and I am I'm still regularly running Park Run and I finally now achieved my 250 milestone green vest. In those 13 years my relationship with Park Run has fluctuated from obsessive to mildly indifferent but I have managed to run every year at least a couple of Park Runs. My most prolific year was 2012 when I did 35 Park Runs. My laziest year was 2021 when I managed a measly two Park Runs but I am back on it again now have been for a couple of years. Last year I did 33 Park Runs and this year I'm hoping we can finally beat that 2012 peak and do more than 35 park runs in 2024. My times are all over the place to be perfectly honest with you. I've generally fluctuated around about sub 20, 19 and a half minutes for most of my park run career but I have skirted with sub 19 minutes. My park run PB is 18 minutes 23 seconds which I achieved last year when I was training for the Paris marathon and I was probably at the fittest I've ever been. My slowest times are generally when I'm running with the kids and that can be over 30 minutes because we're treating park run as it should be treated as a fun run enjoying a jog around chatting to our friends. It's not a race. Park run is not a race. It can be whatever you want it to be. You can run, you can walk. And I really don't worry too much about these slower times messing up my park run average time. Although I am really Really into my stats, I love my data, I'm not that anal about it that I really care that much. Remember I'm the guy who's constantly telling people not to pause their watches when they stand at the traffic lights. It's pointless people, don't do it. I'm not going to discuss it anymore, <laughs> I've told you the information, at some point you will accept it. By the way, I'd love to know why you started to run Park Run and how many you are currently up to now. Please do comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing that right now. Click that like button and share this video with your friends. I would be eternally grateful. Now, whilst I do love Parkrun, I am not the biggest fan of the Parkrun management. My personal view is that the direction Parkrun is taking is much more about making money and conquering the world than it is about providing a great running event. Parkrun HQ don't even like you to call it a running event these days as they think it will put people off coming. I don't like this dumbing down of Parkrun and the way they're trying to wrap everyone in cotton wool in an attempt 
attempt to be inclusive or rather in an attempt to pretend to be inclusive to mask the corporate monstrosity that it's become. Don't get me wrong, I have absolutely no issue with big organisations growing and making money. Hey, I'm the guy who loves UTMB after all. But I just feel with all this growth, they're losing touch with their roots or rather they're ignoring their roots and the people who built Parkrun. Parkrun was built on local running clubs providing volunteers and expertise and if they hadn't done that Parkrun would never have grown to what it is today. We've had all these discussions before and I'm sure we'll continue to have them into the future but when it comes to the events themselves very little has actually changed in the 13 years that I've been running it. One of the best most positive changes that I've seen is the introduction of digital barcode scanning. No need to carry that soggy bit of paper around with you any longer. Although, mind you, I do tend to still carry my plastic credit card sized barcode in my wallet, in my phone with me. Uh, but it's good to know that I can use my watch uh, or my phone to scan my barcode if needed. The events are still held together by a stoic team of volunteers, often with little or no help from Parkrun HQ. We all still love to get our milestone t-shirts and we all work towards them. Parkrun tourism is still a thing despite Parkrun HQ trying to tell us not to do it. Oh, we love traveling, let's travel. In a nutshell, the point of travel is to go to places that can help us in our inner evolution. The outer journey should assist us with the inner one. Many of us still really enjoy completing some of the parkrun challenges. I recently finished the stopwatch bingo challenge, which I did completely by accident. Um, and I've also nearly finished my alphabet challenge, just got Z left to do. And I'm now up to my half cowl. I think I've done something like 51 or 52 different venues around the UK and one in France. And it is still the best start to your weekend. Whether you go out hard and try and hang on, or whether you just jog around chatting with your mates. One thing I will be doing more of now that I've reached 250 is volunteering. In the 13 years that I've been doing Parkrun, I have only volunteered a measly four times. So that is my goal for 2025, is to get my 25 volunteer t-shirt and get my volunteer ratio up to around 10%. If you have never been to a parkrun and perhaps you've been thinking about it, don't think about it any longer. Simply get up on Saturday morning and go and do it. Yes, some people run fast. Yes, some people treat it as a race. That is no reason for you to feel intimidated and certainly not to feel like you're not welcome. If you feel like you're too slow, believe me, you are not too slow to run parkrun. If you feel like you're the wrong shape, the wrong color, the wrong gender, you are not. Don't feel sorry for yourself. Don't make excuses. Take hold of some self-belief, kick those nerves into touch and get out there. And to get you in the mood, here's a video of me running my 250th park run. Take care everyone. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you on the start line next time.